Moo. Welcome to One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. We're going to do a pick a deck today. <clears throat> and I have the star card for each one of these. So this is the Crystal Visions Tarot. Star card. Okay, this is the uh, Wisdom of the Tarot. Soulful Revolution deck. Star card. This one is <clears throat> uh, Eternal Visions Illuminated Deck Star Card. Sorry. Take a second to make your decision. <clears throat> At this time, I would like to invite the angels in here to protect us, to guide us. Let me be an open and clear channel for your guidance, for your greatest good, and for the good of others. I give gratitude the angels who are watching over us, protecting us, and guiding us. Thank you for being here. I thank all of you for being here. This is for you. Okay? Okay. So, wishes granted. <clears throat> The star card wishes are granted. So what what wish is gonna be granted for you? This is for the collective. Take what resonates, leave the rest. So we're going to do you, the situation, and the outcome. Okay, so this is you, your seven of wands. Okay, you are a warrior. You are fighting off others who are trying to attack you. Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. There are things unseen. That's a masquerade, right? Oh my goodness. And then the Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> struggles here. You're struggling to survive. You're fighting off other people's opinions. 
what you should be doing. You know what your passion is. You know what your fire is. You have your inner dragon. <clears throat> it's helping you along the way. <coughs> Which is your your intuition. Your other, the other part of you that helps you through your journey. Maybe somebody's just sitting around watching you struggle and they're not stepping in to help you. Right? Because they're, they're turning a blind eye. <clears throat> they have their mask on. They're not really seeing what's going on. They're just sitting on their, their throne. They have all their riches around them. Maybe it's a, a lesson that you need to learn. This is like a mother figure teaching you a lesson. Like you have to fight your own battles, right? So that you don't end up in poverty. She can't, you know, your mom can't always be there for you. You have to step up for yourself, you know, to prevent this. You have to learn the lessons. Let's see. Okay, what is the lesson that we need to learn here in order for our wishes to be granted? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, a bunch of them jumping out. <clears throat> okay, we have the world. Seven of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. You need to protect yourself. Have balance. Right. If you can't take care of yourself and your mom always has to take care of you, you're going to end up in this position that's really going to be a struggle for you. If you left out in the cold, right? You need to protect yourself with these bubbles here. Really go inward. Learn the lesson. Seven of Wands again, right? This one, you're at peace. Okay, nothing, nothing can break through this, this bubble here to get to you. Okay, all this fire is out on these ones too. Fire went out because you're protected. There's no longer a threat. You know, you need to learn these worldly views and rules and learn how to be an adult. <clears throat> And really learn how to protect yourself to bring balance so that you can just be. I mean, she's just kind of so serene and relaxed, right? It becomes effortless once you have the inner knowledge. May the sacredness of my work bring healing, light, and renewal to all. <clears throat> when you hopscotch around your creative playground, invite your heart to feel and your gut to lead. If you truly love and believe in your work, projects, and dreams, there is no excuse to be doing anything else. Even when you flounder and feel overwhelmed, keep your eyes upon the sky. You'll soon... Rise like the phoenix on turbo boost and slam dunk your bitch ass struggles into the sun. <clears throat> Keep your eyes upon the sky. 
wish upon the star. Follow your dreams. Have the passion. <clears throat> you believe in yourself. Body, show up. Oh, show me, divine, how to love and fully care for this body. Please give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body as it is. Yeah, accept yourself. <clears throat> yeah, she's standing pretty confident here with her body. And where it's at. You know, you're standing in the sun here, or you're not in the cold. tonight find a way to forgive <clears throat> yeah. you know maybe you need to forgive your mother or this uh, nurturing being that has taken care of you. you know, since you were a child You know, forgive them for not stepping in and just watching the battle. Forgive them for not embracing you in the cold. other rock ones first. Oh, I got three here. Okay. Roto Crocite self-acceptance. I fully accept myself and know that I am worthy of great things in life. Right? Right here. You know that you're a strong warrior. Right? Greater things in life here. Uh, Dioptas? Love. I am love and love is me. Right? Yeah. All these words are really hard for me. Let's see. Pray. Prehenite, trust. I trust myself in the divine flow of the universe. All right. Going inward, the flow. Trust in yourself so you can survive. Home. Build yourself a foundation. Have heart. Follow your passion. There's all kinds of eyeballs here and bubbles as well. Something about seeing the way, <clears throat> going with the flow. You know, your third eye is opening. There's a bunch of eyes opening. There's new opportunities, new things to learn, new things to seek. But your heart is always where the home is, here with your mother. Mm -hmm. All right, let's 
let's see if we can get a question here. <clears throat> so we are going to go with life. Okay. Would you prefer we share a bank account or keep separate? Explain. All right. The pentacles here. This is about being financially stable on your own, right? Do you share your mom's bank account, your mother, your caretaker? Are you still using money from them to live your life? Krypton, which is uh, light bulbs and lasers, noble gas, number 36, the nine, it's about wisdom, gaining wisdom, shining the light, the light bulb comes on, right? <clears throat> Laser focus, which we got in our last reading. Okay. So you can do this. You got this. Okay, break away. Bird, you know, fly out of the nest. Baby bird, it's time to leave. Springtime. Time to get moving. All right? Learn your lessons so that you can survive and be comfortable and be protected in the world. Okay, that was pile number one. <clears throat> Okay, on to pile number two. <clears throat> what is your wish granted? She's at the beach. She's got her bikini on. She's got her jugs. you you are the empress the emperor sorry you are the emperor going headstrong now you got the ram there you go at it with their horns the world is in your hands okay this is about traditions
Emperor. So that's Aries sign. Aries. We have the star in Aquarius. Okay, the situation. Page of Swords. I'm just kind of frolicking. Yeah, maybe you're brewing up some new ideas. And you're kind of just playing with them. You're making a plan to go full force. And the higher pants. So this one, this is actually the traditional card. Which is weird that it would pop out because I said that was it. Um... So maybe you have to pick and choose who to pick, what ideas are going through your head so that you can conquer the world. Maybe you're looking for your empress. Is about traditions, religions. Maybe you're trying to choose a new religion. Maybe you're um, breaking out of the traditional. Because this emperor here is just looks like he's in pajamas, basically, um, with this ram on his shirt. Which is not something you would traditionally wear. Alright, so you're thinking outside of the box. New ideas for the world. What are these new ideas that are going through your head that's going to grant your wish? Uh, you're starting a new business, becoming the CEO of a company, maybe your own company, an entrepreneur. All right. You're working on your own and you're trying to supply something for the masses to help others out. And you're coming up with these ideas. All these ideas swirling around in your head. How are you going to stand out from everybody else? Right? How are you going to stand out? You're going to take the opportunity when it arises. Uh, you're up on this cliff. So people can see you from down below. They can see you from the beach. They can see you from the ocean. You're going to stand tall. And you're going to have a presence. People will notice you. I'm going to take a leap of faith. You're protected. You have great opportunity here. Lots of ideas and creativity flowing through you help others. <clears throat> I get two here. I am exploring with life beyond ever before and glowing with eagerness for more. People often misperceive 
a disconnection from normal societal activities as running, hiding, or betraying your family, friends, or community. Yo, that is pure donkey dung. When you disconnect, you trade belligerent nights out for sexy knowledge, hunts in intimate gatherings, living for others for living for yourself, chasing money for obtaining purpose, mindless dribble for passion, explosions, busyness for intention, and soul extortion for soul unification you are exploding with life beyond ever before and glowing more eagerness for more right yeah searching for it and then you have i am fucking made for this right with the constellation here is that orion's belt right you were made specifically for these times, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Your mission is to help interpret the messages Earth sends us so we can move forward toward ultimate community, peace, love, truth, and constructive creativity. We cannot do that if we deny our magic, our powers, and our miracles. Today, see if you can make peace with yourself and shift your mind away from fear and disease and into love and acceptance. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I love you until you cry or laugh. You are loved. You are protected. You are perfect just as you are. You are fucking made for this. All right. So in pile number one, they actually had the protection to look just like this. Kind of like a snow globe. Um, so you might want to go back to pile number one as well. There might be something here for you. Calmness. The inner divine is the witness of all remaining still and quiet even during intense turbulence. So take a deep breath and then say, quiet my mind, dear Lord, may your peaceful calm take over, right? Stillness and stillness, calm. <clears throat> appetite get out of your comfort zone all right get out of your comfort zone do something courageous jump in the waters there you go your comfort here your pajamas get out of your comfort zone break free Starseed Elemental. <clears throat> 45. It's about wisdom. Yeah, you are Starseed. You're here to help others. And shine the light where it needs to be shown. Sunstone, empowerment. I am empowered in all areas of my life. All right. Empowerment. Herkimer. Dreams. I constantly manifesting my dreams into reality. All right. Serpentine, transformation. My life is transforming as the perfect time in the most powerful way. At the perfect time in the most powerful way. 
Mm -hmm. Taking that leap of faith. It's coming that CEO, that leader. Radium. So a research lab. Alkaline earth metal. 88. Manifestation double double time. Radiation, right? Radium. It's like radiates out. Your energy is infectious. Yeah, hit the books, do some studying. All right? Because you got a lot to learn for this business that you have. Okay, so let's do about you on the questions. Okay. Question to contemplate. What's one thing about your life you'd never change for me or anyone else? Just think, what's one thing about your life you'd never change for anyone else? All right, so if we were like in a relationship, <clears throat> it would be for me, but since this is for the collective, what you would never change for anyone else. Right? Is that what your dreams are? The direction that you're going? Your faith? The abundance that you hold? The power that you hold? You're going to be very powerful. Let's see, pile number two. Thank you. <clears throat> it's looking very beautiful for you. Okay. And really, this does go hand in hand with the pile number one as well. I definitely recommend going back to pile number one if you haven't already watched it. It's about the evolution of how things progress. Okay, pile number three. Hmm, this is the Art Nouveau deck. Got some gold foil on here. Okay, she is bigger than life. It almost looks like she's sitting on a giant cliff and she has got waterfalls all around her and it's diverting around her so she's kind of blocking the path a little bit. And she's looking into the water, almost like she's looking at the fish that may be under there. This is a very uh, godlike looking card. Uh, if God was a, a woman and she's looking down on the earth, And she's curious about these creations. So the Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> so this is you, you're holding on. It almost looks like you're surfing on this. Kind of 
like you're skimming on water, right? And you're showing this off. It's almost like you're being videotaped, like if you were skiing or uh, snowboarding or something. And you're showing this off as you're skeeting by. And you're very confident, you're very balanced. And you're proud. Seven of Wands. Okay, and you're having to fight someone off. All right, maybe there's jealousy, there's competition. You're making this video and somebody else is making a video too and they're competing with you, which is only really driving you, right? It's kind of like a compliment, All right? They think that you're doing so great at it that they're gonna copy what you're doing. You know, it's a form of a compliment. And it's also plagiarism at the same time, but it is probably the greatest compliment you can have when somebody tries to copy you, right? Even if you're irritated by it. What is the outcome? The Two of Wands. Now you're just gonna, you know, overcome this battle, whoever is jealous here and you're gonna make it on top, right? You're gonna be the, take the higher road, right? That's what they say. And you literally took the higher road. You went into a tower and now you're looking down. Okay, you've left them all behind for them to wonder what happened to that person, right? And then they're looking up at you. Maybe you're going to be doing some YouTubes. And there's lots of competition out there, right? The big whole world out there that you got to battle and fight. But, you know, we can share this too, right? We can share the success. It doesn't always have to be just one person who wins everything. You know, this is not about everybody gets a participation trophy, but... Uh, you know, sometimes there's more than one winner or two, and you gotta lift each other up at the same time. Right? So ultimately, you have to do this for yourself. Right? To get to the top. Okay. What is it that you're trying to show off and express to others? Shower card. This is about unexpected changes, things that happen unexpectedly. <clears throat> go through a tower moment somebody needs to burn you down right in order for you to build yourself back up mm -hmm. it's definitely somebody jealous here See, they're on the other side of the fence. There's the same fence here, right? They're just on the other side of it and they're fighting you and you're standing your ground like, what? I'm just standing here in my passion doing what feels good to me, what I want to do. Why you got to be messing with me? 
Why you gotta be tearing me down? Can we all be in this together? Judgment. Nobody's judging you, right? Yeah, they're definitely jealous. Okay, and this is saying you need to just hold your own and just stand here on your foundation. You're going to be resurrected. You're going to come out on top. You're going to come out on top. You need to not want to punch them in the face, right? Not fight back to them with negative words, right? Just let them be in their own energy. If they want to fight you, that's fine, but you can watch them from afar. They're only going to create their own tower moment by acting this way instead of supporting you or they're against you. You just have to hold back that feeling of wanting to react, right? Surrender to give yourself freedom. As I follow my wishing heart, I encourage others to start. When you garden your passion flowers, you add fresh growth to the collective tree of life by honoring your excitement and watering your dream seeds. You permit others to open their wacky wings and take flight too. Just as I was saying, listen to the song of your wishing heart and share what lights you up. You may not know if your sharing is helping, but trust that it is, even if nobody seems receptive, caring, or supportive. Release all expectations of feedback and trust the flow. Those in need will see you doing your sweet ass thing and start watering their dream seeds too. Soon enough, soon enough, you'll be twerking at the top of your freedom tower. The world needs your guidance much more than you know. All right, so keep doing what you're doing and what you're sharing here. Regardless what other people think or how they tear you down. The truth. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. All right. Continue on with your truth. Even if others don't like it and they want to fight you about it. What is true for you? Rose Quartz. Open up your heart. Alright. You gotta open up the heart to what you love doing. You gotta open up your heart to these other people who are fighting against you. And just send them love. Hurt people, hurt people. Right? Maybe they're not doing it completely on purpose. 12, water, the overflow. Right? Overflow. What you have going on here. The waterfall here. Again, the waterfall, overflow. Don't let anybody get in your way. You're just going to flow a different way. Keep that momentum going. Hit 
Hidden Knight, gratitude. I am grateful for the loving energy fills every single cell of my being. The loving energy. All right, get your loving energy flowing out here. Fills you up. Whatever it is you love makes you abundant. <clears throat> As a right, expanded awareness. My awareness is expanded with an abundance of clarity. All right, the clarity comes from this tower. Your truth. Fairy stone, good fortune. I am open to receive all goodness that the universe has to offer me at all times and in all ways, right? Just accept it, whatever form it comes in. It'll help push you forward. Okay, let's see. So I'm just gonna do a random one here for questions. What does your five-year plan look like? Oh, this is funny. I got this one the other day. <laughs> what are you trying to build? What is it you're building here that you're showing off, that you're fighting other people off? What is the plan? How do you build the foundation up again? How do you ignore the negativity? Simarium 62, it's manifestation. This is rare earth. Magnets, lasers, and Studio lights. Sorry, I can't really read with my glasses I have on right now. Studio lights, right? What are you attracting? <laughs> I said, you know, what are you videoing, right? Studio lights. What are you showing off? What's the message? What's the truth? Something that's magnetized to you. What do you connect with? How do you draw people in to watch you? Well, your your wishes come true. You just have to just fight it off. Watch them from above. Have a different attitude about it, right? Surrender to the universe because your truth will set you free. Empowerment. When you ask the divine to take over, you get pulled into your own authentic power. It's a force of inner love that wants your wholeness and magnificence. Unfold my true and radiant self, dear Lord. Yeah. Be empowered. Stay in your own. your reading for today on pick a deck I want to thank you for being here I want to thank the angels for being here as always allowing me to be a clear channel for your guidance for your highest good and the good of others 
you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, and share to share with others and help me build my passions, my YouTube. Don't hate, right? Don't hate, don't fight me on it. Help me out. Empower me.